Okay, NT loader is missing. We're going to be going over how to make the USB solution. First things first, go ahead and put the USB key into your computer. Alright. It'll make a little noise at you, It'll probably bring up a window. And remember, anything in here is gonna get deleted. Delete, delete. So, it doesn't have to be empty, but I'm just saying it will be deleted. Anything yeah, that's in there. Alright, we're gonna download the USB files. So, right click, save target as. And we'll try to save it into the downloads folder, which is what we want. Go ahead and hit save. We'll download pretty quickly because it's pretty small files. Go ahead and open folder. And notice the .zip, or this little icon that looks like a zipper right here. That's what we want to see. We want to right click that and choose extract all. And just we can take the defaults here. Go ahead and extract. Burr, 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 burr. Does some little work. Pops this up. Now see this here, the HP? We're going to go ahead and right click on that. Choose run as administrator. I'm going to put my phone down while I type in my password. And here we go. Now, an important thing to choose first is this option. We want to change that to FAT32 because when we do, it enables this option, create a DOS startup disk. We'll go ahead with the quick format too, because why not? Create a DOS startup disk. Use DOS system files located at, click this little button. And we got to find where we downloaded this to. So, downloads. Nothing. That's not good. Okay, so I'm going to try the long way around. So, OS, users, twit, downloads, NTLDR, USB, and DOS system files. And then OK. That's really weird. I wonder why that didn't work. All right, I'm going to hit start now. This takes a little bit. Oh, yes, everything is going to be deleted. So, yes. All right, says that was OK. Going to hit OK. And then we can close. And then the folder here that says put on USB. Go ahead and double click that. You can do control A and that will select all files and then you can do control C that will copy all of those files and then we can go to our new drive over here see it says 2 gigabyte F of course it could be any size and then uh, I like to right click in here and choose paste now, as long as we're here, and I haven't remade all the files yet, this file here, delete that. Just in case. Delete. Yes. Alright. Now, I'm going to shut this all down. Now, this could be done in this computer, this next step, or it could be done at the broken computer. Because I'm in front of this computer, I'm just going to go ahead and do it here. So, this is Windows 8. i got to go over here. Power. Re oh, shut down. We have to boot off the USB stick and set a partition as active. If I recall correctly, that's how this is done. Now my laptop is still churning, churning, churning. Let that keep going until it eventually turns itself off. If I knew anything about video editing, I would make this go by in super fast speed. Okay, now it's off. Turn it on. You might have to select an option 
to get it to boot from USB. See that? Boot options. So I'm going to hit F12 there. I might have missed it. I did. I missed it. All right. So we're going <laughs> to have to turn this off. Then I'm going to more aggressively tap F12. There we go. USB storage device. That's what we want to boot off of. Let's press the down arrow to get the USB storage device. Windows 98 screen. All right. Miles Corner here. Press the Y key and then hit Control Alt Delete to rebute. Reboot. Reboot. Oof. This is the type out here. Um, notice how physical disk zero is C. But C is the flash drive we've created. So I'm going to press Y. See what we're doing here. I mean, C boot part, win NT, boot C. That's the command that we're running. I have the auto exec back. Bad, just go ahead and try to run it for you. So, why? Leave the USB drive in the laptop. Press Control Delete to reboot, and then try the list of options. So, Control Alt Delete, and then because this laptop is what it is, we'll have to do the F12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. and then get into the USB storage device. Bam. Now, my laptop here is Windows 8.1, so I can't actually show you the next step. It's going to try it in another 20 seconds anyway, but that's how that all works.